What's wrong? He didn't know the hint of that thing. Doesn't. Doesn't. You can tell him later. Okay. Okay. We'll start now. We have we have three topics left. We'll do um. We'll do two topics today, and then we'll do one topic tomorrow and begin revision. Maybe you just want to lose those. <laughs> Guys, listen. 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 You don't have to do the electricity question in section B. What? Just a try, try. Try two from three. Always choose. Choose. Right? It's just, I like the electricity. You know, we did Kirchhoff on Friday. If it's Kirchhoff, I would choose yes. the electricity. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, anyways, we'll continue now. Is it yeah. or Say again? Oh, no, right, right, right. Right, work and power. <coughs> Maybe we can get three topics done today, because this is small. Work and power. Come on, Summer. Work and power. Good job. Okay. <laughs> we care about electricity because of its ability to do work. Obviously, that's why electricity is important, because it can do work. Heat, 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 heat. These are examples of heat. heat. Yeah. What's the question, heat? Yeah. The hot water. Okay. And kinetic energy. Okay. Uh, right, anyways, that is electricity is a form of energy. And remember, one volt means one coulomb can do one joule. That's what we said one volt is. So using that, if you think about it like this, here is one coulomb and it's one volt. So it could do one joule of work. Okay. What about if it was um, two coulombs? Well, then it can do two joules. Okay. And if it was three volts, then we could, well, I think you could do six. Yeah. Yes. Maybe. So the formula is quite simply, uh, if you want to calculate the work, it's just the charge, the coulombs, multiplied by the voltage. That's all. That's how you get the work. So that's our first formula. So work equals QV. Okay? Okay. But you might remember that Q equals IT. So we can get work equals IBT. Now what happens if I divide by T? What's work over time? It's now power. So power equals IB. You got those? Yes, correct. Now, if you have power equals IV and you have this triangle, you can make some more formulas. So you could change this into power equals V squared over R, because you can replace the I. You could replace the V, uh, I squared R. You know? So you can write P equals I squared R or P equals V squared over R by just using this triangle and this formula together. Is that okay now? You're happy enough with that? So this is important and this is important and together they can make these. Yeah? Now, please. These formulas are only for resistors. It doesn't work for capacitors. So these are only for resistors, not capacitors. Okay? What's a capacitor? What's a capacitor? Wait, 
Wait, were you in this class? No, I came to this class. Ah, you must. Did you miss a class? Did you? These are capacitors. This lesson. Yeah, we what missed all. We also missed all this. And is that this? What and all? Wait, which lesson? We we did this lesson. I remember. But maybe you two were missing. Yeah. Was this when you were sick? Mm. After the resistors. Yeah. So like, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. stop. No, 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 stop. There's resistors. There's resistors. No, this is work and power. This is our lessons now. It's oh, yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. I was looking at the picture. Oh. Uh, the capacitors came up here. Oh, no, no, I didn't have it. This lesson. Yeah. yeah okay. You missed this lesson too? Yeah, I missed it too. Well, did you get the video? No, you didn't get the video. Yeah, I got the video. No, here it is here. Yeah, I got the video. Okay. Yeah. This is a capacitor. Yeah. This is a capacitor. Yeah. Okay, so these, these formulas are only for resistors, not capacitors. No, what? English. It's your book. It's your book. <coughs> right. <coughs> what about capacitors? <coughs> when a current is running through a resistor, initially there is no charge passed through until at some point there is a charge Q. All the time the voltage stays constant. Let me draw a graph of voltage against charge. Now, I'll give you an example. Okay, Here's a resistor. And here's the ammeter. And here's the current. And we can measure the voltage as well. And we're going to make a graph. And here I put voltage. And here I put charge. Okay. So just to keep it easy, let's say the current is 1 amp. 1 amp equals 1 coulomb per second. Yeah? So, uh, that means... Huh? Sorry, I have my graph upside down. I meant to put voltage here and charge the other way. Okay, so at the beginning you turn the switch on, and if it's one coulomb per second, then how much charge passes by? So here's the time, and here's the charge. So at the beginning, there's no charge. Then after one second, there's one coulomb. After two seconds, there's another coulomb. So the total is two. Yeah, it's, the, it's like each second there's one coulomb every second. Three seconds? The Q will be 3 in total. Total. Is that okay? Are you sure? Now, what's happened to the voltage? This voltage here is constant. It doesn't change. So if you were to make a graph, the Q keeps changing. It keeps getting bigger. And what happens to the voltage? It's the same constant. Like maybe this is like 1 volt. So the graph looks like this. What is this area? This area is QV. But what did we say at the very beginning QV is? Work. work. So this is work. So if you plot V and Q, then the area will be work. And for a resistor, it will be a rectangle because we have the formula uh, work equals QV. Okay. So what we'll do in a minute after you write this down is we'll look at the capacitor. Because for the capacitor, it won't be this formula. Because the capacitor won't be this shape. Because you know the capacitor graph is different. Yeah? Like for example, voltage time. What does the graph do for capacitor? It decreases. Like this. Yeah? Yeah. But if you had a resistor voltage time it would be constant so they're different situations so before I continue I'll let you draw this um, yeah especially this now this is important this graph
You got that? Yeah? Can I continue? Uh, ben? Yeah? Kalisa? Yeah? Continue? So, let's have a look at a capacitor. We have a capacitor and a voltage here. So you know, if I was to make this graph here, it goes down like this. You have V equals V0 E minus T over tau. And also, if you were to make a graph for Q, it would be Q0 E minus T over tau. But we did. Right, so then we, we make our graph again where we put um, V here and Q here. What will that graph look like? What do we think? Increase, decrease, constant, what do we think? Increase. Increase how? What shape? Like this? Yeah, let's see. So watch this trick. I divide these. V over Q. Yeah? What happens here? These cancel. Yeah. And I have V0 over Q0, which is just a constant. Let me call it K, for example. So you can say V equals K times Q. Sure. Now what shape of graph is this? It's a straight line. So what area is this? This area is a half QV. That's the difference. For a resistor, the work equals QV. For a capacitor, the work equals a half QV. Yeah, is that okay? I know that's a bit tricky. Uh, again, you need this graph. Let me just go. Yeah. What are you doing, go? Capacitor. Okay. <coughs> you should watch the video. Because mm. I have, I have too, <coughs> too many lessons. Maybe. Yeah, it's a problem. <coughs> yeah. Also, also, Remember Q equals CV, we had this formula yeah. for capacitors, so we can also say work is a half CV squared as well. You remember this formula Ben? We wrote it as C equals Q over V. It's okay? Mm. Summer? Yeah. It's okay? What's, what's this? Minus T per Minus Coulomb? <laughs> yeah, that's not Coulomb. Uh, do you remember the name of this letter? Ben, do you remember the name of this letter? Uh, how? Tau. It's a Greek letter. Like this. It's like a T plus a C. Okay. It's called Tau. Greek letter. You know, like chow, cow, cow, <laughs> mow. These are all great names. Yeah. Tau, mow, cow, chow. Yes. You got Chinese. I do. <laughs> all right. I'm Greek. Okay. Uh, continue. Do you have this band? Almost. Almost, okay. Oh. 
Okay? Is it? Right. Here's a very simple example to get us started. We just have two examples. So the first one, we have a 10 kilowatt electric oven. So that means the power is 10,000 watts. Okay. And the voltage, 220 volts. First question, what is the current? So first I want the I. Okay, I think you can give me this, no problem. I think it's like 45, <coughs> 45 maybe. Yep. You just use the formula P equals IB. It's okay? Right, A. B, what is the resistance? So how could I get OR here? Uh, v squared over, over P. V squared over P would do, wouldn't it? So that's 220 squared over 10,000. Four point eight four. Yeah? Hmm. But you can also use this formula, V equals I OR and R equals V over I. That should be the same answer, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? 220 over 45. Can you check? Yeah, that seems about 4.8, doesn't it? 4.8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, C. What's the charge in one hour? So that means Q equals IT. One hour? Uh, six, 60. Oh, 3,600. Seconds, yeah. All right, so what's that now? One, six, three, six, two, zero. Yeah. <coughs> now, the last part here. What's the work? You have a choice. You can use this formula or uh, Yeah, yeah, you could use QV or you could say as Ben said PT Yeah, you could even use IVT. You've got a choice. So What will we use? Why not? <laughs> One six three six two all times two twenty Three five nine zero 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 zero
Oh, you missed this lesson. You missed this lesson. And the voltage is 120 volts. Or rather, let me draw it. Anyways, what is the charge stored in the capacitor? It doesn't matter. What's the charge? So what formula can give me the Q here? CV. CV, good. Which is 0 0.1 yeah. times 120. 20. That's 12 coulombs. What? What? Ah, 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 what? He changed his nodes. Yeah. What did you change? The farad is power of minus six, but you think it's, it's mainly farad. That's the original lesson, farad. Farad has no milli in it. Yeah, but you will say this question is mainly. Yeah, in this question. Yeah, so yeah. he misunderstood. In, in that questions. In this question. Maybe it's also milli. Yeah, I think it's, it's also milli. milli. Yeah. No. Usually it's milli. Anyways. Or micro. Okay, B. What is the energy stored? That is, what is the work? Wait a minute, what formula do I use here? Q. No. I went Half Q. Half QB. Oh, half QB or a half CV squared. Which would be better? I think a half CV squared, yeah? That's... Really? <laughs> I think it's Q. Okay, a half QV then, fine. A half... Yes, I agree now. A half QV. That's six times 120. Yeah. 60... Nine, nine, six oh? Huh? Seven, 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 two oh. Two. Sorry. Seven, two oh. Joules. C. The capacitor is allowed to discharge through a 100 ohm light. How um, long will this charge is release its energy? So it looks like this now, Ben. You have the capacitor yeah. and you have the light. Uh -huh. And now the energy is released. And the light turns on. Oh, okay. Only for a short time. Yeah. How much time? How much time will the light shine? Mm. <coughs> Wait, how many minutes do you have? 120. Oh, and the yeah. 100 ohms. It is, it is, maybe purely false. No? <laughs> no. Yes. T T T T. No. <coughs> but we have Q and uh, okay. R R C. <laughs> yes. You have it written down. Yes. It's on this page. Yes. <laughs> Not that. Okay. Not that. No. This. Oh. Five tau. Five tau. Five. Oh, it's finished. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Five tau. Five tau. So this? one tau yes. is minus one per square. 
We don't need that. No. No. We use the other formula for tau. Tau equals RC. Oh, RC, yeah. So the answer is 5 RC. So that would be 500 times 0 0.1, which is 50 seconds. It'll stay on for about 50 seconds. Why R is 100? Is the mean for... Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Let's have a formula in this class. T equals R R C. R C. R C. C is is a one hundred in a four milli 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 four four farad farad yes yeah sorry why is five times that's the formula we did a rule that said the time is five tau it's a rule always. <coughs> Lastly, D. I want to know the power here. So, oh. power. Uh, is I -R -B? Yeah, but the problem is we don't know I or B. So, we know B B B B B squared R. Now, the easiest thing would just be say work over time. Because the work here should equal the work that was here. Because this goes into this. <coughs> In other words, it should be 720 joules of light because the 720 joules of light came from the capacitor. So it's 720 over 50. Mm -hmm. 14.4? Yeah. Watts. Now it's not really 14.4, okay? Because if you were to make a graph here, time 50 and power here it would actually look like this yeah. what you're saying is roughly average power is 14 watts but at the beginning it will be more and at the end it will be less and then at the very end it will be zero watts yeah. so really it's just roughly 14 Yeah, because the, the question will probably say approximately what is the power. Approximately means roughly. Approximately means this, Ben. I know this. Approximately. Maybe, maybe not. Sometimes they ask you this, sometimes they don't. Usually what they ask you to do is make a graph. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is it okay? Sorry. Yeah. Is that time equal five tau and time equal RC? Hang on. Okay, let me just be clear. So the time to discharge. Discharge means nope. no energy left. Okay. That's equal to five tau. And the formula for tau is or C. So you can say this is 5 or C. Okay. What was gradient? No, th that's another formula. Ben, Ben, there's another formula. You have this or you also have this formula. T equals minus 1 over the gradient. Oh, you have two formulas. Is, uh, 
the slope, the gradient of L, whatever, Li or Lv over uh, the time here. Yeah, yeah, slow, 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 slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. I'm happy. Right, I'll let you uh, try these for a few minutes and we'll start the next lesson shortly. Okay? They're not too difficult. Right? Yeah, easy, easy. Easy peasy.